Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to share five of the best tweaks currently compatible with the iOS 8.3 untethered jailbreak with you guys. All right, and let's get straight into this video. For those of you who have yet to jailbreak, check the screen now for a link. And as I'm sure most of you have come to realize, most tweaks aren't compatible with the 8.3 untethered jailbreak. Initially, it was believed that mobile substrate, or now Cydia substrate as it's called, was the culprit. However, Soric Sense confirmed that Taiji has to update their untether package. They're going to do so and push an update inside of Cydia. It's currently not available. Once it is, I will let you guys know immediately so just be sure to follow me on Twitter if you don't already. Right now, Sork has actually issued two new Cydia installer updates. We're now at version 1.1.18, neither of which will allow you to install the majority of tweaks available inside of Cydia. However, both will help those of you who are currently encountering issues with Cydia. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and get into the tweaks in today's video. I will also have a link down below in the more info to a post on my website, Best Tech Info, that actually contains a constantly updated list of tweaks and their compatibility. Basically, every single tweak that you would be interested in from Cydia. It's an embedded doc from the jailbreak community, so big props to them. And with that said, let's go ahead and move on to the five that I'm going to highlight right now. Again, check the link below frequently because it is updated on an hourly basis. That's going to be your main resource for installing Cydia tweaks for the 8.3 jailbreak. All right, so to start off, we have Bitefont 2. It is a really great tweak, and as you may have noticed by now, all of my text is actually custom. It's not the regular Helvetica Nui font that iOS 8 comes stock with. So all you have to do is just install this from Cydia default repository. Then from there, you can actually browse in the main tab, the Browse tab, for some different fonts. So let's just go to Fonts in the Spotlight, and we can just scroll through them here, and if you're interested in installing them, it's as simple as scrolling down and tapping view on Cydia. From there, it will redirect you to the listing inside of Cydia. All you have to do is install it. Of course, if you know the specific font you're after, you can search just inside of Cydia. It's really as easy as that because that's how you'll actually install your fonts. Now, switching back over here, if you want to swap out your fonts, just go to the swap mode tab at the bottom, and then you can go to basic. You can also play around with advanced if you're interested. And then from here, you can set your font. So to set the Ubuntu light font, all you have to do is just tap on it, and then it will prompt you to respring, and you can tap yes to that, and it will apply whichever font you select. Again, install your fonts from Cydia. And guys, remember, it does apply fonts system-wide, so you'll see there for the font, as well as where it says touch ID or passcode, that we have that custom font enabled now. You'll also notice it when I'm continuing throughout this video. All right, now next up we have Flux. This is absolutely a favorite tweak of mine. It's amazing and essentially what it does is it modifies the color warmth of the display so that when you're viewing it at night, it's easier on the eyes. It's proven to help you sleep better when you use your devices at night because it reduces blue light exposure. So let's go ahead and preview it now. And this is kind of the effect that you'll get. You can fully customize it. Of course, I have it set to a more extreme set just so you guys can see the difference in this video. It's really great and you don't know how amazing it is until you go without it for a while. Those of you who are Flux veterans will definitely know what I'm talking about. You have to add a custom repository for the 8.3 compatible version of Flux, however, from the developers themselves. So I'm actually just going to ignore this Essential Cydia update, the one I showed you guys previously for now. I'll install it after this video, but essentially what you need to do is go to the source tab and then go to edit add and you need to add the following repository https colon forward slash forward slash just get flux .com forward slash Cydia. And remember that is also down below in the more info on the post I have linked to as well as just right here on screen. Now next up we have iFile. It is a premium tweak inside of Cydia with a trial and basically what it allows you to do is browse your file system in its entirety. So you can go to a number of different directories on your device and you can do various things. And if you happen to download a dev file from wherever, maybe someone emailed it to you, essentially tweaks use the .deb extension, then what you can do is install them straight through iFile. It's very useful. It has so many different applications that I'm not going to get into 
to them all in this video. Same thing goes for Terminal. There are a number of iOS 8.3 compatible versions of Terminal, and you can do various things such as install tweaks, it's basically a command line, and you can also SSH into remote servers. You can Google some commands for Terminal if you're interested. And finally, we have Crash Reporter. This is very, very useful because what it does is it logs every single crash that occurs on your device and it tells you why it crashed. So for instance, if we were to go just to Twitter, we can see the latest crash and if we tap into it, we can see the crash log and we can get information on the crash if we go to view crash log, which might not be useful for the lay person, but it is very helpful for determining what's causing your device to crash and what is actually crashing. All right, and I recommend all five of these tweaks. Currently, we don't have a very diverse selection that will change once Taiji pushes the update, which will be available for new jailbreakers in the form of the Taiji jailbreak utility as well as for current jailbreakers inside of Cydia as an untether package update. I will let you guys know more on Twitter. Follow me there. If you guys liked this video and it helped you, be sure to rate it up. Leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Visit freeappsfast.com if you're interested in winning a free iPad Air 2. And of course, don't forget the post in the more info with the constantly updated list of compatible tweaks. If you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, subscribe if you have yet to, and until next time, this is ICU, signing out.